My name is Hai Ying Liang. I'm assistant professor of the genetics and biochemistry. Right now, everyone is feeling the pinch of the high energy cost. And what we are trying to do is to grow poplar, to modify the poplar in a certain way that we can extract, um, we can convert them into uh, ethanol more efficiently. And what we actually do is um, introduce a tyrosine-rich peptide gene into the cell wall of the lignifying tissue. And our hypothesis behind this is that um, the phenolic group in, from the tyrosine peptide will cross-link with the lignin substrate. And after the lignin um, polymerization, the lignin is going to be more susceptible to proteinase treatment. So made the, um, the conversion into ethanol is more um, cost efficient. Because this is where the lignocellulosic materials are from. Lignocellulosic materials consist of uh, three major components. One is cellulose, another one is hemicellulose, and the third one is lignin. And of these three compounds, cellulose and hemicellulose are the desirable uh, components um, for, for the ethanol production because they can be converted into fermentable sugar and then we can get ethanol from that. But lignin, on the other hand, is different. Lignin, it has no nutritional value for livestock and it's very, very difficult to digest. So lignin is the undesirable compound in the cellulosic material. So we need to get rid of them. Poplar tree is a fast growing species. It can grow in a wide range of uh, climates and soil conditions. And its genome has been um, sequenced and um, it has merged as a model system to study wood formation in woody plants. And right now there's a concern that um, if we're growing a bioenergy crop and it might as a competition with the with the food crops. But if we grow in poplar we can grow them in in the less um, fertile land. Right now I grow these plants in a greenhouse and then when we grow about two two meters high I will harvest the, the stems and then I will ground the stems up into fine powder and then I will check um, if I can extract more sugar from my transgenic stems. We are still in the process of um, testing if these plants can produce ethanol in a more cost efficient way. We are going to do some um, ethanol production from our transgenic stamps.